بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته to our brother Muhammad Hassan asking from Egypt regardless of the field that I want to specialize in as a student of knowledge what are the mutun meaning texts that I have to memorize as a student of knowledge regardless of the faculty that I want to you know take when it comes to al-ilm knowledge or seeking knowledge as a student of knowledge before you choose a field that you will spend the rest of your life in you have to be able to know at least each and every field something that has to deal with it example you cannot be a student of knowledge aiming to be a mufassir and you know nothing about mustalah al-hadith you know nothing about uh, nahw you know nothing about uh, faraid so as a student of knowledge you take from each field mukhtasar of it a summarized version of that field that's what imam al nawawi mentioned at the beginning of his book al majmu' So when it comes to aqidah, you must have something in aqidah, a book that you memorize from A to Z. When it comes to nahu, at least a matin, a book that you memorized in grammar from A to Z. When it comes to tafsir or usul tafsir, at least a book that you have something from A to Z. When it comes to musal al-hadith, the same thing. But the first thing that you have to focus and spend time to really capture without a doubt is Quran. As a student of knowledge, you capture your Quran and memorize from A to Z. When it, after that, the next thing that you have to move in order for you to memorize a portion of it, memorize a matin, a text in Nahu, a grammar of Arabic language. And we have many summarized books in that field. But the easiest that you can get and one of the most summarized is the matin of Imam al-Shabrawi. Maybe 50 or 50 some, uh, 50 plus, you know, bait. And Imam al-Hafiz Hakam came and added few bait to it. This is when it comes to Nahu. When you finish with Nahu, then you move to Aqeedah. And in Aqeedah, the nazm of Risala al qirawaniyah is also something that is really, really important. One of the easiest mutun in Aqeedah that you can grab. Because it actually means, mentions most of what a person is supposed to be aware of as a beginner in Aqeedah. When you finish with that, then move to Mustala al-Hadith. And the easiest that you can get is the nazm of Imam al-Bayquni, known as al-Bayquniyya. When you finish with that, then you move to Mukhtasar in Fiqh. In Fiqh, you can either get like, let's say, uh, Risala for Abi Shija' or if that's too much, you know, you may get maybe Al-Akhdari or if it does too much, you may try to get Umdatul Fiqh. A person may say, well, Umdatul Fiqh, that's even... No, these scholars or this Aimma, they put these books together just for beginners. It's just that now, 21st century, we really want to microwave knowledge and we want to drive through the same time that we actually take to place... All, okay, can I get a um, hamburger? Can I get, you know, a pizza hut? You know, you just drive and pick it up. That's how we want to travel to get knowledge easily and quick. And the same thing, the minutes or uh, maybe a minute or two that we spend in warming our food, we want to use the same thing in knowledge. It's not going to happen like that. Knowledge, you have to build it. You cannot just get it right away. You build today, build tomorrow, build today, build tomorrow so that you can root yourself. But right away, it will just turn into what? Like a food that is microwaved. You microwave your food in, in a minute, 
You have to start eating right away. You wait another minute, it's going to get cold. So if you try to microwave knowledge, it's going to just come out of your memory just like that. And you will forget. So in each and every field, you take time to really get it. And the more time you spend, the difficult it gets for you to forget. But if you microwave it right away, they say, ma the jumla, turika jumla. What you take all together at once, you will forget all together at once. So knowledge moves by building. Stage by stage, step by step. This is what I can mention briefly as a student of knowledge, no matter what, in your field to get something. And in Nahaw, most people or most students, they use um, the book of uh, al ajr Rumiya. But Shubrawiya is much easier because the nazm of it is sahal for you to get and to go with. So I mentioned this for our brother to, uh, to answer our brother's question down in Egypt because he's a student um, over there. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the students in, um, in Azhar, the students in Al-Madina, and our brothers around the world seeking knowledge, may Allah make it easier on all of you. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward each and everyone. Hada wal ilm Allah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.